Welcome sa sipnayan.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, polynomial functions. No? And kung napanood nyo yung previous video, ay uh, nag-aaral tayo paano kunin yung value ng function given uh, value of x. No? So here, for example, yung f of 2, ibig sabihin nito ang value ng x natin ay 2. No? Ang ibig sabihin ng f of 2. So kung kukunin natin yung f of 2, we substitute 2 to all the x's in the uh, equation. So, 3 times 2 cubed. So, kung saan, saan mo nakikita yung x, ipapalitan, papalitan mo siya ng 2. We substitute, we substitute 2, no? So, 5 times 2 plus 10. And then, we have uh, 3 times 8 minus 10 plus 10. This becomes 0, no? Minus 10 and saka plus 10. And then, this becomes 24. So, f of 2 is equal to 24. Now, uh, kung, uh, if we subtract 2 from both sides no, of this uh, equation, we have x minus 2 is equal to 0. Remember, na pag kinukuha natin yung root ng function, ang ginagawa natin, di ba? Uh, kung x minus 3 equals 0, para makuha mo yung uh, root, we have x equals 3. No? So, parang pabaliktad siya. Now, I'm not saying na root yan, ano, yung 2, no, but we can, we can see, uh, we will see, if there is a relationship between x minus 2 and this function. Okay, so, uh, tingnan natin kung divide natin kung ano ba nangyayari. May kinalaman ba yung 24? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng 24? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng uh, x minus 2? Ano ba ibig sabihin na pag ito, dinivide natin dito, what will happen? No? So, I think uh, we have already discussed division of uh, polynomial. So, gagawin lang natin is to divide the polynomial using the long method, no? So, 5, 0 x squared minus 5 x plus 10. Okay? So, bakit may 0 x squared? Pag nag-divide tayo ng polynomial, ang una natin ginagawa is to arrange the terms in decreasing uh, exponent, yung, yung ating uh, variable, no? For example, the variable here is x. So, we arrange the, the, ex, the variables in decreasing exponent. So, dito 3, meron tayong 1. Wala tayong x squared sa original expression. Pero lalagyan natin ng x squared dito. Later, makikita nyo kung bakit siya importante. Nalagyan ng, ng kompleto. No? So, we have 3, 2. x means the exponent is 1. If we put here x to the 0, then x to the 0 is equal to 1. 1 times 10 is 10. So, we don't need to put x to the 0 here kasi ibig sabihin yan 1. But if we, if we look at the, the expression, diba? 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay? So, yun, yun lang yung purpose nun. Okay? So, i-divide natin ito. Anyway, kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung ating uh, series on dividing polynomial function, uh, polynomial uh, expressions, uh, dun kayo makakapag-practice ng pag-divide, no? With all the strategies. So, what if we divide this expression, which is equal to this expression, by, uh, oh, sorry, wala na pala itong x kasi. Zero yan. By this expression here, x minus 2. Okay? So, before, sabi natin, i-divide lang natin yung first term, no? Parang pag uh, 3x cubed, what, what happens if we divide 3x cubed by x. Uh, leading term nito, leading term nito. This is... So, mag... Kakaroon tayo ng x squared, no? Sa taas. So, meron tayong 1 sa baba. So, 3 times x times x times x, ba? Over x. 3x cubed is uh, x multiplied by itself 3 times, no? So, we cancel this out. This becomes 1. This becomes 1. So, we have 3x squared, which is our quotient. No? Pag nag-divide tayo ng number, anong ginagawa natin pag nakuha na natin yung quotient? For example, uh, 55 divided by uh, 4. No? So, anong ginagawa natin? Nakuha na natin yung 1. 1 times 4 is 4. So, we multiply this by the divisor. So, 3x times x. Sorry, sorry. 3x squared times x. 3x cubed and then minus 3x squared times 2 6x squared 
Okay? So, nakita nyo yung importansya ng x squared. Yung 0x squared dito. Kasi pag nandito yung 5x, hindi natin sila ma-add, no? So, napaka-importante na kumpletuhin natin yung terms in decreasing exponent. Pag tayo nagdi-divide. Okay? So, pagkatapos, nakuha na natin yung product. 1 times 4 is 4. Diba may na-minus natin siya? So, ibig sabihin, magma-minus tayo dito. Need to subtract, no? But in subtracting, no? for, for example, pag na ganito tayo, A minus B. It's the same as A plus negative B. So, since we are subtracting, pwede natin i-plus yan. And then, magiging negative itong term na to. Pag nag-negative ka, for example, negative A minus B, magbabago lahat ng signs yan, magiging neg negative A plus B. Okay? So, lahat ng signs nito magbabago. So, kung positive ito, minus. Kung negative ito, uh, minus positive, this becomes negative. Kaya magiging plus yan. Ang shortcut niyan, pag minus, magiging plus na. Yan ang shortcut nila usually. Pag nagbago na signs, pag, pag minus, magiging plus. Okay? And then, syempre, ma-minus na natin siya. Oh, no, no, sorry. Ipa-plus natin siya kasi naging plus na siya. So, 3 plus negative 3, 0 na to. Itong term na to. 3x squared plus negative 3x squared is 0. And then, 0x squared plus positive 6x squared, we have 6x squared minus 5x. Okay? Tapos, ulit. Ito ulit, di ba? Pag nag, pag nag ano tayo, i-divide mo ulit ng term na to, di ba? Dito sa uh, divisor natin. So, we divide this term by this term. Pero again, yung first, uh, yung leading uh, term lang ang i-divide natin. So, pinakamalaking exponent. 6x squared, tsaka x. 6x squared divided by x. Again, magiging 6x yan. No? So, this is plus. We are dividing two positive uh, expressions. So, magiging plus 6x. And again, we multiply 6x times x is 6x squared. And then minus again because of this one. And then 6x plus 2x is 12x. Okay? So, just like before, we, we change the... We want to subtract, but we want to change the sign... So addition, we, we want to change the operation to addition para mas madali. And then we have uh, yun, minus and then plus. Alala nyo yung sinabi ko kanina, balikan nyo yun. No? Bakit siya magiging plus? Anyway, magbabago yung sign. Pag, pag positive, negative, pag, neg uh, pag minus, magiging plus. Okay, so what do we have here? So, 6 plus negative 6 is 0. And then, negative 5 plus 12 is 7x plus 10. Okay, I think this is the last uh, term na i-divide natin. We have... Sakit natin ng konti, wala na tayong space. We have 7x divided by x. This is obviously 7, so 7. 7 times x minus 2 is 7x minus 14, diba? And then we, we, we will subtract, but instead of subtracting, we add the negative. This becomes negative, this becomes positive. And then, we add, no? It's 7 plus negative 7 is 0, and then uh, 10 plus positive positive 14. This was uh, minus, so naging plus siya, no? So, magiging uh, 24 siya. Okay? Okay? So, nagigets nyo? Yung 24 dito, tsaka 24. Yung 24 pala, pag in-evaluate mo, yung isang expression, uh, ng, for example, f of 2, then, the 24 here is the remainder. When this expression is divided by this expression, no? May mga times na walang remainder, no? 
ang time na yan ay yun yung mga factor talaga. For example, uh, x squared minus 4x plus 3. Pag dinivide mo yan ng, pag dinivide mo yan ng x minus 1, it will give you a remainder of 0 because um, this is a factor of x squared minus 4x plus 3. Ang factor niyan is x minus 1. x minus 3, di ba? Yun yung pinaka-factor niya. So, pag dinivide mo yan, eksakto siya ang quotient mo magiging x uh, minus 3. However, you can also do this, no? So, magiging x minus 1 is equal to 0. May x equals 1. Magiging f of 1 mo. Your f of 1. For example, this is g of x. Then, your g of 1. Ano kaya magiging sagot niya? Magiging 0 siya kasi wala siyang remainder, di ba? So, 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 3. So, 1 minus 4 plus 3 is 0. Isabihin, uh, x minus 1 is a factor of x squared minus 4x plus 3. Ito, ang x minus 2 is not a factor because we have a remainder of 24. Okay? So, I hope meron kayo natutunan. In the next video, ipag-aaralan natin kung is there any way of uh, dividing function na mas madali. May separate uh, tu uh, tutorial din tayo para dyan, pero siguro pahapyawan natin ang mga dalawang examples. Ang tawag pala natin dun sa strategy na yun ay synthetic division. Okay, so I hope meron kayo natutunan. Gusto kang invite sa sipnayan.com yung ating website. Nandyan yung ating lista ng mga videos. Uh, uh, Bihitayin nyo siya at mag-subscribe kayo para makita nyo kung may mga bago tayong videos. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.